<laughs> Yo, what is going on, you guys? It is your host, All Gavin here, and I'm back with episode four of Feed the Beast Academy. In today's episode, we're going to be getting into technology. We're going to be doing this quest line, so we'll go ahead and read it real quick. The beginner, what what is it doing? Um, technology beginner, learn about tech mods. Tech mods are by, by far the most popular kind. They generally focus on making using energy to automate things, things like ore collection, in production, growing and harvesting crops and animals, and much more. Energy is created in generators, moved in pipes, and used in machines. Certain items, including tools and armors, can also require energy. There we go. So now we have all this different technology stuff we can get into. Uh, we have the thermal series mod. We have the power mod. We have RF tools. And we have industrial foregoing. And we have... Oh, hold on. FE. FE is short for forge energy. Is, most, is the name of the energy most mods use. Also known as RF. The amount of energy something has or makes or uses is measured in FE. The speed of that FE is measured in FE per tick. One tick is one twentieth of a second unless the game is a lagging. Click me. Now we have all this stuff unlocked now. So we're going to be diving into some of that. We do need to go get some more resources though. So I will be back. Well, but we're going to do this little raid real quick. Um, because we're going to just mess them up. Alright, these guys, they don't want none, but they need to get away from my, uh, my base. Shoot. Yeah, not today. Alright, there we go. Now I got the bad omen, which is just fantastic. Now we're going to have a raid happen every time we go to a village. But we can drink milk and get that effect off of us. Okay, guys, so let's not spam Boa, so you're okay? You have a cloud above your head, mister. Are you sad? Ow. How did... Dude, these guys reload fast. I don't want to die here. All right, we ate. We're good. Hold on. That was a that was a tough decision to make there, guys. That's real. All right, there we go. He's dead. All right, guys. So I'll be back when we get back from the mines, and uh, we'll dive right into that technology. I am gonna be recording just in case anything weird or exciting happens down there in the mines, because you never know what could happen. Alright guys, so we are back up at the base now, and we got some more mining materials, or more uh, ingots and whatnot. Um, so we should be able to get started in some of these uh, technology quests, since we have a good variety of things here. Now they've broken up the generators for us into multiple different sections, but first things first, we're going to make all these books, so I have them saved here. So we need a crescent, uh, a crescent hammer for the thermopedia and iron gear so that's pretty easy to make we'll just need some iron nuggets which we actually have right there um, so we'll go ahead and craft this up and then we'll craft the crescent hammer and then we'll need some books so uh, that might actually be a problem the books because we don't have sugarcane hmm Yeah, we don't we don't have any sugar cane, I don't think. Or leather for that matter. So the books might have to wait, but we can go ahead and craft some of this other stuff. Uh we'll start with the coal generators. So in order to complete the quest, we're we need to complete all of them. So the first one we're gonna make is the pitiful generator. Uh, it generates FE. If it burns, it makes FE a single coal generates forty eight thousand FE. It burns fuel even if there's no room for more FE. So that's not good. We don't want this one, but we're going to make it. Uh, so we need four cobblestone, a furnace, two iron bars, and a gold ingot. And okay, yeah, we, we got all the stuff for this one. So we'll get the gold, the iron. Uh, we're going to need lapis for something. We'll get the coal out. And uh, we need to go grab some wood and cobblestone from downstairs. So we'll just grab a stack of that and we'll actually just 
That's not what I want with this. We'll take some of this out of there. And we'll grab a stack of wood. Alright. So, the pitiful generator. Uh, we need the redstone block. And then we need the pitiful frame. We need a furnace. Wait, why? There we go. I don't know why I made that. But I just completed a quest. And then we need iron bars. So, we got all that done now. There's the pitiful generator. So we can go ahead and place this here and that will generate FE now. It gives us some coke, uh, coal coke from thermal series, which we could put in here to generate FE. Um, we don't need power right now for anything until we get further. So we're just going to go ahead and make all these generators. The next one is the coal generator from RF tools. Uh, a single coal generates 36,000. So this one actually generates more FE per single piece of coal. But this one is going to be better, I think, in the long run. Um, we're going to need some gold nuggets. We're going to need some blue dye. And we're going to go ahead and take that off there for now. And then we're going to need uh, the redstone torches. So we're just going to need some sticks here. We'll make all these into redstone torches. All right. Now we should be able to do this. Now this is the coal generator, right? So it looks a little interface is a little different, but same idea. All right, now we got eight pieces of coal. Um, it doesn't say no; it only accepts coal, nothing else, no wood, no coke, nothing but coal. Does this one take wood? It does. It actually does take wood. Um, now does it save the FE? If it saves it, that's good. All right, it does save it indeed. So we'll go ahead and put like nine, eight pieces of wood in there and get that going, building up. Um, now this one, we'll go ahead and see if it saves the FE. It should, they all should save it, but we're just ma making sure. Next, we're gonna make the Sterling Dynamo. So we need uh, two pieces of cobblestone, redstone, iron gear, and this, so pretty easy to make. Um, all these are just the basic generators guys so they're going to be pretty simple and uh, not too too complex uh, this one you actually need to put like on something so um, this connects into it so that's how that one works and we got some bitumen the sterling dynamo generates if using furnace fuel single coal generates 24,000 uh, see the quest dynamos in you below for more information so as you guys have seen, we're unlocking more and more parts of the quest line. Dynamos in you. Dynamos work fastest when they have no FE in them. That is, they're at their best when FE is being pulled out faster than it's being created. If it completely fills up with FE, it'll work at 10% of the speed, voiding the excess energy and wasting the fuel. FE can only be pulled from the coil. The thin bit of fuel can be put in from any side. So this one, we should only put fuel in if we are actually using it. All right. Next, we got the Furninator from Power. okay? So we're just gonna make the basic starter one. Um, we got that, we got that, the Furninator. We need some dielectric paste, basic capacitors, a dielectric casing, a furnace. We'll go ahead and make the furnace. And uh, the dielectric paste. So we actually need a bucket of lava, okay? Um, so we'll get some lava here in just a second and come back up here and make some of that uh, and then these yeah so we're gonna need we'll bring actually uh, we'll put this stuff in away for now Actually, let's, uh, let's skip that one. Let's skip over that one. This generates 48,000. So we're going to use uh, 
Like all PAL machines, the Furinator has seven tiers. Higher tiers store more and generate FE faster. However, all generate the same amount of FE for the same amount of fuel. Okay. Um, so for this, we're going to use this one right here, right? We had 90,000 FE in there. Uh, so next we will get into um, the energy transfer. So we're going to make the power cables, uh, which we're going to need the paste. So we're going to need this lava, okay? This is inevitable. We're going to have to go get this lava. All right. So we'll go down there real quick. Because I know where lots of lava is. And then we can just slash home and we'll be all good. I should have brought a crafting table and just made a crap ton of this stuff. But that's alright. We should be able to get some cables going with uh, the amount I'm going to get. We're going to be able to make 48 of the uh, dialectic paste, whatever. And yeah, then we should be alright. I don't know why I did this over here. Um, but here we are. There's a fair amount of lava down here. Um, we just gotta follow this all the way down. And I'll be back when we have the lava. Alright, so we're back and we got the lava, guys. Um, next, we just need to grab uh, coal and clay balls. We'll get the clay ball and we'll grab some coal. I still need to move my workshop all the way down, all the way down here. I might do that after this episode. Um, but for the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Uh, we need energy pipes. Uh, you could have all your machines just placed directly next to your generators, but that's kind of awful. Instead of use, instead of use cables to transfer FE. Whether you use cables from power or pipes from pipes, they both work the same. Place them down so they connect to source and destination. They'll transfer the power. So we could use energy pipes without doing this, but we will actually look into the basic uh, starter cables, actually. Um, so, 100 FE a tick. That's not much. Uh, how much do those transfer? We need at least the basic. We'll actually save that. We'll just use energy pipes. The redstone furnace is just a furnace that uses FE instead of coal. We'll go ahead and make this. Uh, so we're going to need to smelt up some brick here. While this is going, we can go ahead and get into this. All right, so that's just two right here. Now I think we can go ahead and make the furninator, furninator, fern, furninator. Uh, did I use a white cobble? We'll just make eight furnaces because we're gonna need them for a lot of different things. All right, then we need this, which is block of redstone. Put the iron bars away. And those like that. And we can make one of those, which is a dielectric casing. All 
All right, now we have the Furnator, Furn, yeah, Furnator, from Pala. All right, and I need a pickaxe. We don't want this to get super messy down here. All right, so from here we can go ahead and break this. Uh, leave those set up. I don't want to use this one ever. So we're done with that for now, um, unless I absolutely need to use it on the go or something. But for now, we don't need it. Next, we need two bricks. And we need the gold gear. And we need the machine frame. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was trying to make this. Uh, okay, well, we can make that real quick. That's from the... Um, so this actually uses uh, sunlight. So if we... I guess, right? I use the sunlight. That's what that means. Um, we're going to need to grab a couple more things. We're going to need a copper... the bricks down there. We'll take the copper, the tin, and uh, we're going to need glass. Alright. I really need to get all that down here. This is getting annoying having to run back and forth. Copper gear for that. Wait. There we go. We need another copper gear. And the machine frame, so we just need a tin gear. Some more iron nuggies. Boom. Now we got the redstone furnace. And we're going to just hook that up right there. It's going to start draining FE. And then we can... Uh, we'll make this into... Well, we'll just save it until we need to smelt something, I guess. Um, or doubling. Make a pulverizer. All right. The pulverizer crushes items. Its most important use is to crush an ore into two dust, each of which smelts into an ingot. You can put flint or bazaar's powder in the bottom slot to increase the chance of getting bonus items, also making it use more FE. Okay. So we're going to make the pulverizer next, guys. Um, and then we can start ore doubling in episode four. All right. And we'll see what else do we got here. Uh... We'll go ahead and make the sawmill as well um, to get more planks and we'll hold off on those things. Uh, we'll make the plastic setup as well um, for this episode and then yeah uh, we're gonna need plastic so we're gonna need dry rubber which we can get tiny rubber from putting wood, I believe, into a uh, latex processing unit. Can't remember exactly how exactly that works. Exactly. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go back in here. I got a lot of stuff on me. Um, we'll go ahead and make the pulverizer. So, we need a piston, cobblestone, and wood. Uh, we got cobblestone right here. We'll go ahead and make the machine frame. Why do I keep clicking random things? Piston. Alright, then we're going to need two copper gears.
All right, we're gonna need one of the redstone flux coils. Um, we can throw this stuff away for now. And two flint. All right, I, I do have flint. I grabbed a bunch of it. I don't know what I did with it right off. Um, there we go. All right, now we got the pulverizer, uh, so we can start or doubling. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick. We're gonna put this up here, right? So we're gonna use these energy pipes. This is going to be the most convenient base uh, ever when I'm done with it. It's it's not gonna matter about how it looks at all to me. But we're gonna go ahead and hook up the energy pipe to the pitiful generator, have it climb up here, and then go in there. All right. Now, as we see, this should be getting FE. Hold on. Where's the configuration? Uh, this is the back. Or is this? This is the back, right? That's the back. input disabled why isn't this getting energy is this the back Still nothing. Orange is out, but are the cables not transferring? I don't know why that's not working. Um, it might be the energy pipes. All right. Well, for now, we'll just put the pulverizer down here because now it's getting it. Why wasn't it before? Um, that's very strange. No idea. Uh, the sawmill, we're going to need a saw blade, which was kind of complex to make. Um, two cobble, another flux coil, um, two copper coils, or gears, and it looks like that might be the last of our copper. Um, and then the machine frame, which we actually need quartz. We don't have that yet. So we sadly cannot make the sawmill yet until we go into the nether. And, uh, let's see. Can we make this? All right, we just needed a piston. And then we need this thing pity machine frame um, so we need four wood and a block of redstone so block of redstone is easy all right and the cobblestone we just got to pick back up oh it went back into my little thing uh, let's turn that off for now so we can actually 
do what we need to do without having to keep going in there. Fluid extractor. All right. So this we will uh, hold on to for a second. And we're going to go ahead and get the latex processing unit made up as well. Um, I'm out of iron on me. So I need to grab iron. Uh, four wood, redstone block. I do have more iron up here. I know that for a fact. Um, no, I don't. E. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need those buckets. Do I not have any? Ah, I knew I had more iron. I'm like, I was wondering what happened to all of it. <laughs> I was like, I just got a bunch. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll grab the iron out of here. And uh, what do we have the light on us? Nope, okay. Or silver. So we just need a bucket of milk and a bucket of water. So there's a cow over this way that I see. This shouldn't be floating, but we'll go through it. This is a nice little natural archway. Alright, and then there is a cow right down here. That's a horse, not a cow. Dang, flab it. It didn't drop leather. Do you drop leather? No one drops leather. We need to find a cow. And we also need more food. <laughs> so. Alright guys, I think that's for watching episode 4 of Feed the Beast Academy. In this episode, we accomplished a few different things by, you know, getting some of the basic generators set up. And mainly that was the goal to go over the basic generators and the different options we have. Um, we also went ahead and set up a pulverizer and the redstone furnace. Uh, we're going to be getting into the sawmill and the latex processing unit to make plastic. Next episode, I need to go off camera, grab some resources, and come back replenished. Um, also, I'm going to do a little farm work and uh, work on the um, basement warehouse thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you were new. Comment if you got any questions, concerns, or anything else you'd like to add. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.